Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, and um, we are on week four, four weeks and five. Yeah, four weeks, five days. I'm so tired. Harry was up quite a lot last night, and he woke up at five crying. I uh, wouldn't go back to sleep for ages. And now I'm up and dressed, ready to take the girls to school after I finish my coffee. This has happened. So clearly somebody else is tired as well. But I'm going to drink my coffee and then hopefully he will wake up on his own before we have to leave in the next half an hour. We're currently stuck in the car on the school run. We um, left bang on time but there was barely any traffic so we're just sat waiting outside Poppy's school for her school to open up. Um, the heater is on in the car and I'm trying not to fall asleep. However, Harry is wide awake. Um, so... Uh, we're currently going to wait for Poppy to be able to go in and I'm going to be dropping off some parcels for Vinted, then heading home and getting stuck into the house. porridge I, I don't think he's very well to be honest I think he's potentially got a bit of a cold or maybe a chest infection or something coming on so I've given some cow pal, some alba soil uh, and a tissue between his vest and his baby grow I think uh, with a full belly and a bottle he might probably go down for another sleep as well I think that might be why we had such a bad night and why he was up so early um, but you would never have known that he's just threw an almighty temper tantrum in the car so apologies for the light, this is the best place in the kitchen for me to be able to give him his porridge uh, where I can put his high chair and sit with him. But I've just cleaned up the kitchen, I've sterilised his bottles for the remainder of the day so they're ready and good to go. Um, yesterday we did rearrange the living room but it is still an absolute mess so I'm going to put a load of washing on and then I'm going to get stuck into the living room and get that sorted and, and straightened out so it looks a little bit better. But we've got rid of the, well, we've, we've not got rid of it, we've still got it, but we've moved the TV off the TV stand because Harry keeps trying to climb up it and use it as a climbing frame and I'm really worried about him getting hurt. Um, and I talked Chris eventually into being able to put it up on the, um, the, the above the fireplace. The fireplace is not used, it's, it's just a brick wall. So um, we've got that for now. That's gone up on the wall, so we're now utilising the full room instead of just part of it, but I do need to straighten it up, so we'll go and do that.
finish tidying the living room for now at least. Uh, this is Harry's little play corner here. So he has his playpen, which he doesn't like the door being shut, but it does keep everything contained. And if there is something that I need to do and I don't want him touching it, I can shut the door so he's safe. Um, I've tidied up his toys, which will only last about five minutes before he wrecks them anyway. Um, and then the floor is cleared. There are still a few little bits, so I've moved his jumperu over to here. The TV is now there on um, the fireplace, and we've put the Google <laughs> underneath it because Harry likes the Google. Um, so there's a couple of Chris's tools there that I've not moved yet, um, and I've still I've got all of my wedding clothes hung up um, across the doorway, which I can't actually move them anyway yet, so they need to stay. But it's tidy. Uh, this is my nappy bag, which I, I need to take with me later on. So that has to stay there. But um, And the rug as well, which is a new rug to us. It was given to us um, and it fits perfectly because there are a couple of marks on the carpet that the cleaners weren't able to get out. Uh, I think they were oil marks. So the rug works perfectly for that as well. And it just breaks the room up quite a bit because it is a very large room. But we are able to now utilise the space. Um, and it gives us quite a lot more freedom, I think. This is how I pictured it when we first moved in, so I'm really pleased that it's looking more how I wanted it to look. And that is the cat's bed over there, and he is currently on the couch over there. Um, but I'm going to follow his example now and sit down and drink my juice, because I'm trying to stay hydrated. Um, and I'm really thirsty now after all that running around. So Harry is currently sleeping, so I'm trying to talk quietly, um, but I've invited my parents for dinner tonight, so I've just set the table ready with six seats. Uh, I'm going to be cooking a roast chicken dinner, so I need to get on and start prepping the veg. So Harry's currently having his lunch, um, he's eating pancakes at the moment. I'm going to crack on and get some veg done, ready to prep for dinner tonight, um, and hopefully it will be... A delicious success, that's what I'm planning for anyway. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, if I can actually find a potato peeler, I will start with the cabbage first. We'll get that done. Um, so I'm going to be doing chicken dinner. Uh, so um, the chicken will take about two hours. I think so I'm going to put that in after I get back from picking the girls up from school and then I can um, give that a couple of hours to cook um, I also need to make some Yorkshire puddings some stuffing it's basically going to be like a Christmas dinner really but without pigs in blankets or cauliflower cheese or, or stuff like that um, and we always have Yorkshire puddings no matter what the meat is as well so it doesn't necessarily have to be beef for us to have Yorkshire puddings because we really really love our homemade Yorkshire puddings and it's also something that's really handy for Harry to be able to eat as well because he can just hold it and, and eat it although the last time I gave him a Yorkshire pudding he didn't seem overly thrilled <laughs> to be quite honest um, he did throw most of it on the floor but it has been a while since I let him have some so fingers crossed he eats that now because he's gotten so much better now with the baby led weaning that I've been doing um, but I can only give him the food and hopefully he um, he likes it and he'll eat it. So I'm not the best at preparing veg. <laughs> yeah, I do have some vegetables, uh, broccoli, cauliflower and carrots. That's already pre-cut so that'll save me some time because I only have a certain amount of time before Harry then just gets fed up and starts shouting again for my attention. So he's currently behind me in his high chair at the minute, but he's tipped everything out of the bowl that I put all of his food in. Um, so he's making a mess and more than likely a chunk of that is going to end up on the floor, but as long as he's happy. Um, and I've started this week giving him some fromage fray as well. So. Um, he seems to really like that, but he's not a big fan of really cold food. So I have to take it out of the fridge, just let it sit for a minute just to take the edge off. And then once it's cooled a little bit for him, he's perfectly happy to eat it. And so I'm hoping that will be 
enough cabbage for everybody and then I'm going to be doing so I've got broccoli I've got some cauliflower I'm going to do some carrot and turnip mash as well but I bought um, like a, a pre-cut bag so I'm just going to slip it that's I have a pan missing um, the kids dry up and as they dried up they put stuff where it doesn't even belong so the cupboard is a mess that's something else i've got to try and sort out and now i need to try and find where my other red pan has been put which doesn't appear to be in this cupboard so i'm going to go check the pantry cupboard um, i have no idea where they put my other red pan i have one that matches this and it's a bigger pan it's a ceramic pan so it's absolutely brilliant to cook with I'm going to need that for stuffing. Um, yeah, I appear to have lost a pan. Actually, I think. I think I might actually put the stuffing in that. I think that'll be nicer. I can put that on the table then as well. When people seriously. For a pan, where would you go? Okay, so I have a pan missing. So I'm going to be parboiling my potatoes anyway and then roasting them in the oven. So I'll just utilise this pan for now. Um, because they will be done way before. Hopefully, I will have enough to go round everybody uh, because this was kind of an impromptu dinner. Um, I also have some frozen cauliflower, which I think I'll just combine the broccoli and cauliflower together. And we'll cook them. Uh, I'm going to get some more carrots out of the fridge. Okay. Harry's making a mess all over the floor. And I have some carrot batons as well, so I am going to be mashing these, so I'm just going to cut them in half so that they cook. A little bit faster. Then use the carrot back on, but... <laughs> Your bowl's empty because you've tipped it over. And I'm going to have to ask the girls when they come home from school where my missing red pan has gone because God knows where that is. I even checked in the fridge as well. Maybe instead of putting leftover food in a Tupperware container, they've just put the pan in the fridge. That's happened before. I've lost quite a few casserole dishes as well um, by them just chucking stuff in the fridge. Um, they'll just wrap it in cling film and then put it straight into the fridge. Um, and it's like one portion of a meal as well. It's really annoying. And you're searching high and low for stuff. But the kitchen is one of the rooms at the moment that's if things have kind of just been thrown into cupboards and nothing's been organised properly, nothing's been set where it's going to live permanently. So it is just a case of guess which cupboard an item might be in and see if you can locate it, which is pretty much how it's been day to day. Um, there do seem to be certain shelves that we are maintaining, like uh, we keep the plates in here, keep plates and bowls in here. And then in here is cups and glasses and then the top shelf is um, a basket with all of Harry's baby food in. So that seems to be a safe place to keep those for definite. But um, things like baking trays, casserole dishes, ideally I'd like them all to go in the pantry cupboard which is, is a really tall cupboard next to the utility room door. Um, and the top part of it I keep for um, tins and jars and things like that. Then the bottom shelf is um, baking items uh, and then I'm trying to put like all my casserole dishes and then baking trays on a shelf as well but it's all just getting mixed up nothing is actually going where it needs to go um, but yeah I'm quite 
surprised as to where my pan is and I don't think I've blent it out either so it has to be somewhere so who knows no idea so this is uh, I've got a half turnip um, I do need to find my there it is. I don't I'm just going to peel the outside and just take the sides off. I think this is like one of those wonky veggies that you can buy from um, supermarkets because I'm going to cut them up anyway. I'm not bothered if they look a bit wonky or out of place. Um, I'll still use them and they are uh, very often cheaper as well for the same food. Um, it doesn't have to look all pristine and cut neatly, especially when I'm just going to chop it up anyway. So this is the turnip for the carrot and turnip mash that I'll be doing. We've got cabbage, we've got broccoli and cauliflower, um, Yorkshire puddings, roast chicken, stuffing, and then uh, gravy. So I'm hoping that should be enough for six people, seven if you include Harry. But he won't eat very much anyway. Let's put water in. <laughs> okay, he's finished his pancake. He gave me 10 minutes. I've done all the veg apart from the potatoes. I'm going to go give him his yogurt now and then I'll peel the potatoes. <laughs> Just look at this mess. And he seems very pleased with himself. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just getting in the car. I'm getting sorted to go and do the school run. I'm going to pick Poppy up first and then um, go and meet Sophie and pick her up. Harry's in his car seat. And off we go. trying to drive the car it's one of his favorite things to do while we're waiting for Poppy to come out and he keeps playing with um, all of the switches as you can see <laughs> so I can't have it on because otherwise my window wipers would be going nuts right now so God knows what's gonna happen as soon as I switch my car on in a minute but you're having fun aren't you I don't know if you can hear how bad his chest is at the minute. He's very wheezy. I think he's definitely coming down with a cold or some kind of a chest infection. Probably means another sleepless night tonight. <laughs> yeah. You playing? You playing? You racing? In the racing car? No, he's uh, gazing off into space. Harry! <laughs> F to Harry! <laughs> as you can see, Harry's hair has gone almost the same colour as my hair now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> when he was first born, he was really, really dark haired. And if you look through any of my earlier videos, you'll see when he was tiny, when I very first started the channel, his hair was really dark and really long and really spiky. And it was so cute, but as he's grown bigger, obviously his hair's thinned a bit as his head's grown, but he is almost, well, pretty much the same hair colouring as me now, which I absolutely love. So we're going to carry on playing with the car for the next couple of minutes, but Poppy's due out um, in less than five minutes, hopefully. And then we'll go get Sophie, we'll go home, 
Um, we've had slight change of plans for dinner. My mum and dad can't make it now, so I'm currently waiting to see if uh, my brother and sister-in-law want to come. Oh, excuse you. Want to come in their place instead because I've prepped a load of food and I've got a massive chicken. If not, then it's um, basically pig out roast dinner style. <laughs> we just eat until we can't eat anymore, which is um, kind of like a replay of Christmas Day in all honesty. <laughs> Dinner's on, girls are home. Harry's currently having a little bit of a power nap because I think I wore him out by racing him up and down the living room floor. Um, my brother has ended up not coming, so it just means that we're having an absolute pig out for dinner tonight. Um, I have half the vegetables though, because I can use those again um, for a different meal tomorrow, so I'm only cooking half, so we'll be fine. Um, and I am, um, chicken's done, and I'm just about to finish off doing my Yorkshire puddings and wait for Chris to come in from work. So I'm going to sign off now. Um, thank you for spending the day with us today. I hope you've liked the video, and I will see you again soon.